everyone welcome to my channel today i'm just going to show you how i make my all-purpose blend it's basically a combination of all the herbs and spices that i normally use on a day-to-day -day basis so that's what i've decided to do just combine everything together so it's easier for me to use and it's quite nice as well it, it's really really nice so all the flavors that i normally use in all of my recipes that's what i've done so i've incorporated everything it's great for stews curries um whatever you're making if you're steaming vegetables as well it's so good so it's vegan it's suitable for vegans and vegetarian as well and if you are meat lovers then it's also suitable for you but it's just a combination of all the herbs and spices that i normally use on a day-to-day -day basis i just combine everything together and make this delicious blend hi everyone welcome to the channel today i am going to show you how i make all-purpose seasoning no salt blend so basically no salt is in it so typically this has got any salt in it so i've got here our onion garlic smoked paprika then here we have on spice and in here we have got ground um black pepper and one scotch bunny pepper so basically this is what i normally use every single day when i'm cooking so i'm just incorporating every one of the herbs and spices that i normally use i do use spring onion however because we have the onion here we weren't going to go and use any form of spring onion we already have the garlic and so forth i definitely always use thyme and you always know that i always try to incorporate some form of jamaican or caribbean flavor into my meals so and so as well the scotch bunny pepper as well okay so here goes so we're going to chop this really really finely with a de-seeded we do not need a seed it's quite it's quite a big and pretty one got it yesterday from the supermarket and then i just freshly made the black pepper as well and so yes we're just going to get to it first of all you need a bowl so i'm going to be using this and i'm going to be measuring out the herbs as well at the time and we're just going to put it back like this because we only need you can use dry thyme if you want to i do not want to use a dry thyme because it loses its flavor so i really don't like dry thyme it's 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 annoying so i don't really use them unless i don't have any choice then yeah then i'll go in and use them okay so we're just going to do this i won't show you the process of this because it's going to be too long okay Basically, what I'm going to do is use these to make just a little, what is left over to make um, vegetable stock. It's really nice. So you don't throw these away at all because all the flavor is actually in here as well. So you can't throw this away. So this is what we've got left. Okay, so we have roughly about two tablespoons which that's what I wanted anyway, two tablespoons of fresh thyme. So just use this to make black pepper. So we're just gonna go ahead and use it now just to blend the, so that's a coffee grinder. So if you've got a coffee grinder, that's not too bad. You can use that or high speed blender, that'd be fine. So I'm just gonna put the thyme in here. You can use dried thyme as well, but it's not gonna give you the same flavor, sorry it won't at all so just be mindful of that okay. see it looks i don't know if you can see inside there so let's see if you can see inside here see so it looks a lot better than what it was before Okay, so that's what we wanted. All right, so now I'm just going to remove it. it. Smells so good. Okay, for the onion. So 
So that's three tablespoons. Wow, I need to smell so good. Two tablespoons of garlic. Two tablespoons of spam paprika. And two tablespoons of allspice. Okay, mix. We haven't got the bay leaf, so we're gonna get some bay leaves. So we just need two, two bay leaves, and um, yeah, that should do it as well. Gonna make sure that this is mixed thoroughly. I'm going to add another spoon of garlic so three three tablespoons of garlic and of onion as well ground onion spice and then the others just two tablespoons it smells so good it smells so good i'm gonna move this one more time so for the bay leaf we're going to do basically the same thing that we did with the thyme. So we blend the thyme because the thyme is fresh. So in order to preserve everything a little bit longer, then you blend the thyme. Okay, so now we have got, I think I'm going to use three bay leaves because one is bigger than the others. Okay, so put that in, and I'm just going to do basically the same thing that we did before. Okay, so basically what I've done is added a little bit more thyme, fresh thyme in it, probably about one more tablespoon of thyme in there, along with the bay leaves, and um, yeah, give it a quick little, give it a quick little blend, and now I'm just going to pop everything inside of the other mixture that I've got. this thoroughly then now we're just gonna prep the pepper as well whoa that's gonna be the mad one it smells so good spicy so we just use basically half of it which is one tablespoon so we're just popping it in inside there now it's very hot I'd advise you to wear gloves and um, 
make sure that you don't touch your face you wash everything that you use as soon as you're finished Perfect. So we basically blend in again. We haven't added the black pepper yet, so we need to add that. Um, hold on, I need to get another bowl. Now we're just going to add the black pepper and we want the black pepper to be a little bit coarse just to add texture so we're just going to go in with one tablespoon that's it and just give it a proper mix so good so this can store in your refrigerator for a very long time more than a year and it can also store in your cupboard as well for more than a year as well so that's that's what it looks like and you can put this out to dry as well so I'm going to store mine in my refrigerator, so that's fine. But you could just leave it out to air dry and then store it in the cupboard. And we will go through this like crazy. So this will finish within a couple of months, to be honest. And perfect for you, perfect to go in your stews, curries and soups. Whatever type of recipe you're doing, because it's an all purpose seasoning anyway. So it's great for anything that you're making. Thank you very much for watching if you do like this video please go ahead and give it a like if you've got gluten intolerance wheat allergy celiac disease or you're simply gluten free by choice please consider subscribing to my channel for more gluten free recipes and other information about gluten thank you bye